when I came to Central Texas, I came as a teacher and a coach here in the town of March. I worked there for seven years. Liked the area, knew I wanted to put down roots here. So I started acquiring some properties, eventually stopped teaching and coaching and moved strictly into agriculture. Now I pray for rain every day. <laughs> Jay Lyles first approached me and said, what have you heard about the wind farm that's coming to this area? He says, a company has approached me about leasing some of my property to put wind turbines on. When the, the talk first started about turbines in, in the Mart area, I mean, there was a lot of disbelief. Nobody really thought that this could actually happen here. My wheels are rolling in my mind as the mayor, I said, what is this gonna do for the community over this next few years, especially there in the construction? And what's gonna happen long-term as far as employment, as far as improvement for our community? It was a win-win for the school district and a win-win for the uh, taxpayers. And hopefully some way we would find that it would be a win-win for our city itself. The school, like any small town in Texas, is the center of the community, and it's no different here in Mark. We have a football team that is second to none. When Friday night comes around, the town shuts down. Everybody goes and finds those lights. This wind farm project will benefit the schools so that they will be successful and the communities will be successful. In any small community in Texas, Schools usually are the binding force that holds communities together. You lose the school and the, usually the community falls apart. Our football's been very, very successful and one of the uh, winningest programs in the state of Texas. I'm glad that I have windmills out here on my property that's helping contribute to the school system. At the end of the day, I knew that no matter what happened on my farm, if, if I had trouble making money with my animals or my crops failed or it didn't rain, I knew at the end of the day that I was still gonna have a paycheck coming to me from those wind turbines without strictly being dependent on agriculture. So I'll never forget the land agent telling me that they're gonna tear some stuff up, but it'll be worth it in the end. They put everything back the way it was or better since the project has been completed. This project is a, I quote, windfall that will trickle down to the community and the city. It's just cool to look at. I like having them out there. You'll see purple shirts with Mark Panthers on it. They haven't put a windmill on those shirts yet, but we'll see what happens. Thank you.